Mr. Popsit here. The most common question I get asked is what sunblock should I use? I've had 15 years to evaluate that question and here's the answer. Isdin. I-S-D-I-N, link below in description, 10% off for the first purchase. Why is it the best? Medical grade, 100% mineral ultralight emulsion that melts into your skin. Their scientists micronize zinc oxide so you literally can't see it on your skin. 50 SPF made for daily use on the face, decolletage, and hands. Coenzyme Q10 antioxidants and DNA repair zones that reduce inflammation and actually repair UV light damage. Available in tinted, non-tinted, and a powder. My wife loves the tinted so much she stopped using foundation. Only available online or in the doctor's office and this link only works in the United States. Literally the best sunblock I've ever put on my skin. Thanks for popping okay, by. Hey guys, Mr. Popsid here, Greg Lynch, Stern, PA. We have a common thing that we see, which is inflammatory acne in a young patient. And we've got these inflammatory whiteheads. We have the blackheads that we see here and whiteheads, um, those nice clogged pores there that we're gonna open the pore a little bit and a little bit of pushing will get those cleared out. And you can see on this side, up on the forehead, quite a few blackheads through there. These inflammatory nodules and a big one under the eye there. And then on this side, how do you turn this way just a little bit? So some in the ear here too, we're gonna clear out some of these pores. When we have a patient, you know, that has three or 400 of these, we don't do them all in one sitting. So it can be a little uncomfortable, but we hit most of the bigger ones. And then we get this controlled and we do this every couple weeks until we get him um, a lot clearer and the pores cleared out. And that will allow the retinoids and the medications that we gave him to start taking over and reduce them refilling. So we're going to get them all prepped and ready here and we'll get started in just a minute. So I am going to hit a couple of his pustules here. As you can see, we just make a little, little light pressure on those. I don't push too hard, just what comes out easily. I don't want to really crank down on them all that much. So we just want to get out what comes out easily there. I don't want to make a big, huge opening. Is that too bright on the light or is that good? No, it looks okay. Okay. Good, so that pocket's draining pretty well. Here's one. And we do have quite a few blackheads up here on the nose. On the nose, sometimes we'll do a little finger squeeze. These are pretty dried out. If I'm pressing too hard, let me know. We go nice and slow. Good, we'll get those big plugs out like that. It's always oily kind of up here, so. Sorry, a little pressure. That's coming out. That's good. You can see those dry plugs. Some people do ask about um, the pores. You can see they're open because there's a big plug in there. Those will um, start to kind of close up with, with the retinoid, yeah. Yeah, I was going to do one of my questions. Yeah, it's a common one. <laughs> when they do clear out. If we have the right retinoid, you know, it's good. I will use a little cotton there to put some pressure. It just helps us grip a little better. That's good, there we go. You're doing great, he's tough. There we go. Yeah, he's not even barely flinching. Just let me know if I'm pushing too hard. You're doing great, I'm getting a lot out. the top it's coming sometimes you really got to focus down on these with a finger pad it's almost out kind of click that out sometimes with the end of the needle And turn a little bit back that way. And then once we clear that opening, then the rest comes out. You can see there. 
Yeah, you can see from here. Yeah, it's a good one. So let's just dry at the opening, and once you clear that out, that'll pop out for him. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh. Now on the lip here, he's got a couple big ones all along the lip we can see here. I've opened some of these pores. We're gonna do a little squeeze on the lip. Yeah, that's coming out nice. Big plugs. Another one right there, very dry. There we go. Good, he's doing great. Let me open up some of those smaller ones for him. You hanging in there? <laughs> good, yeah. good, good. Definitely one of the toughest ones we've done. <laughs> I've done older guys that can't even tolerate what he's tolerating. I know I know he wants to get these clear, huh? Yeah, he does. My oldest son, he'll be one of the boys that yeah. he'll be, okay, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. And it, you know, even for the tough ones, it does fatigue you. So that's why we don't do like, you know, 200 all at once. Another important aspect is opening the pore. Very important. That will reduce the amount of pressure that you need once you kind of open that pore. Good, getting some hairs out of there too. There's a little bit at the end. You did great, I know that hurts, so you're doing awesome. The little hair right at the end. Pop that out. Looking good. Have you turn a little bit? I did have another inflammatory one here. Just gonna open open a couple of those pores. That one is very dry, and there is inflammation in here too. Put a little pressure here on this one. There's an inflammatory one. Good, and this black head I wanna try and get out. It's very dry. That one may be too dry to even get it, we'll see. I'm gonna move down to these smaller ones here. Very good. Got it. That's great. Yeah, this is such a tender area. Let's see if I can do a little focused right on this one. Let me know if I, is that getting to be too much, right? You're good? Yeah. Okay. Good. A little plug right behind that one. Got it. Very good. So what I did there is I knew there was an inflammatory one right beside this big dry one. I just gently teased out some of that pus that was giving that a lot of pressure. Yeah. That allowed me to come below here and push harder. So that's good. Perfect. Let's come over here and some of these ones. Now we'll give them a break on the lip a little bit there. Come above here. Good. I'm gonna lift him a little higher because it does that sometimes. This is also a tender area. We're just wiggling some of these out. They got hairs in them. Let's see here. Very good. 
the stringers. Get the very base there. Looking okay? Good. I'm getting the base. A lot of people will say, oh, you didn't get the base of that pour. I always come back and we check. Let me open that one up a little bit more. These two need to be open just a little bit bigger. Couple there. Definitely getting the tough, tough guy of the day award. <laughs> For sure, because this is tender for sure. Got a long stringers on there. Have one day it all changed. Yeah. Like one day to another, he got all these. Kind of kicked on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what happens with hormones a lot of times. You know, you get 11, 12, 13, and then all of a sudden, it's really kicking on sebum and oil production. Yeah. And it's turning the skin over. We're getting like, you know, a lot of dead skin. And the skin's turning over faster than it ever will as well. And there's oil there, so it just mixes together. And that's what makes a lot of these plugs. But, you know, we can do things to, with the inflammation. We can do things to reduce. You can see when we pull there, it's looking a lot better. We can reduce oil production. We can exfoliate. And then we can manually extract these pores. And then once we get them on these good topicals, it slows down refilling. It's going great. Here, do a couple. Just finger pads. I know it's hard to see those sometimes. A couple there. Okay. Let me open that one. There it goes. Some of these little blackheads here. I'm just going to open up here a little. Just like that. Oh, that one popped out. bit there <laughs> so that was a pretty good plug right there it just came out on camera girl <laughs> she has a name <laughs> um, now we clean that off and we'll alcohol that up but that one he had an inflammatory one right beside there that one wasn't even the one we were going for and that still got that that's good Get a couple of these blackheads right by the lip there. Good. Okay. And now you'll see, you know, a lot of little blackheads here. I'm concentrating on the big guns here. <laughs> That's where we go first. Those are the ones that can cause more scarring. They're the, the ones that are inflammatory or on their way to being inflammatory. Then we go down to the smaller ones. Let's see over here. I am going to, those two right there. Right here, he's got this little plug, and then here. Are you doing okay? Let me know if it's too much. There we go. That's why we wear eye protection. protection right there that one popped out <laughs> do 
So you can see up here, he had a big plug that just went up, would have went right in his eye. We got that right there. That's why I put this on. A lot of people ask why I do that. It's to protect their identity and to protect things from squirting in there. And that was a pretty good inflammatory one as well. Just getting a little of that pus out for him. That'll go down. Now I do want to. I want to hit some of these bigger ones here. He has a big inflammatory one, right under the eye and the side. We'll go over here. I'm just gonna just make sure eyes water. So I'm just dabbing that. You doing okay? Yeah. Okay. And he's tough. <laughs>